something is amiss in our comprehension of the universe. Cosmology is, by all accounts, heading for a confrontation on one of its most fundamental inquiries. How fast is the universe expanding? For more than a decade, two kinds of estimation have been in conflict. Observations of the current universe commonly find the rate of expansion, called the Hubble constant, to be around 9% quicker than predictions based on early universe data. Analysts trusted that the James Webb, the most advanced telescope ever constructed, would help. 33. Settle the inquiry unequivocally. However, consensus has so far failed to appear. Rather, the preeminent observatory has solidified the ad error with amazingly exact novel observations that threaten to overturn the standard model of cosmology. The new physics expected to change or even replace the 40-year-old theory is now a subject of debate, an astonishing and intriguing possibility that there's something we don't understand about the universe. Join us as we dive deep into how new ultra-deep images from James Webb have just affirmed, so 105, that there is something genuinely amiss with how we interpret the universe. Our universe began with a bang, the Big Bang, Energy, mass, and space flashed into reality all. Within a passing moment, then the youthful universe was formed, a growing, swirling plasma stock of matter and antimatter particles that jumped into reality only to destroy each other upon contact. Left to their own devices, the matter and antimatter inside this plasma would have consumed one another completely. However, scientists believe 1.37. Some obscure imbalance allowed more matter than antimatter to be created, saving the universe from rapid implosion. Gravity packed the plasma pockets, crushing and warming the matter so that sound waves, traveling just over half the speed of light, called baryon acoustic oscillations, undulated across their surface. In the meantime, the high energy density... Of the early universe's crowded content expanded space-time, pulling a small part of this securely from the fray. As the universe expanded like an inflatable, the standard story goes, 2, 10, normal matter, which interacts with light, hardened around clumps of invisible dark matter to form the first galaxies, connected together by an immense cosmic web. At first, as the universe's substance spread out, its energy density, and thus its expansion rate, diminished. However, about five billion years ago, galaxies began to retreat again at an ever-increasing rate. The reason was another invisible and puzzling substance known as dark energy. The simplest and most famous explanation for dark energy is that it, C0243, is a cosmological constant, an inflationary energy that is the same everywhere and at every moment, woven into the expanding fabric of space-time. Einstein named it lambda in his theory of general relativity. As our universe expanded, its general matter density dropped, while the dark energy density remained the same, progressively making dark energy the greatest contributor to its overall expansion. Included in the energy densities of normal matter, dark matter, dark energy, and light are the upper speed limits of 3. 16. The universe's expansion. They are also key ingredients in the lambda cold dark matter, lambda CDM model of cosmology, which guides the expansion of the universe and predicts its end. When matter is spread that far, it encounters a heat death known as the Big Freeze. Many of the model's predictions have been shown to be extremely accurate. Yet here's where the problems begin. Despite much searching, cosmologists have no clue what dark matter or dark energy actually are. As Ofer Lahav, a professor of astronomy at University College London, Reisu 0349, who is involved in galaxy surveys of dark energy, said, Most people agree that the universe's current makeup is 5% normal matter, 25.5% cold dark matter, and 70% dark energy. The embarrassing reality is we don't know the last two. 
However, an even greater challenge to the Lambda CDM model has emerged. Depending on which method astrophysicists use, the universe appears to be expanding at different rates, a discrepancy known as the Hubble tension. Methods that account for the early universe show it expanding much. 421 faster than the Lambda CDM model predicts. These methods have been tested and confirmed by numerous observations. For instance, Nobel Prize winning astrophysicist Adam Rees, who led the team that made the new James Webb estimate, said, The only reason I can understand for them to differ is that the model we have between them is maybe missing something. Measuring the universe's expansion takes a bit more than a radar gun. The main method to measure this expansion looks at the so-called Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, a remnant of Bido 452, the universe's first light, created only 380,000 years after the Big Bang. The imprint should be visible across the whole sky, and it was designed to find the Hubble constant with less than 1% uncertainty by the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, between 2009 and 2013. In this baby picture of the universe, it is predominantly uniform, but hotter and colder patches, where matter is more or less dense, reveal where baryon acoustic oscillations made it clump together. As the universe expanded, outward this soap. 05 and 23, bubble structure swelled into the large cosmic web, a network of strands along whose intersections galaxies would form. By studying these waves with the Planck satellite, cosmologists gathered the amounts of normal matter, dark matter, and values for the cosmological constant, or dark energy. This plugged into the standard model, which yielded a Hubble constant of about 67 km s per megaparsec. A megaparsec is 3.26 million light years. Let's pause on this number for a moment. If a galaxy is one megaparsec away from 00 0.0557 US, that means it will recede from us, and we from it, at 67 km s. At 20 megaparsecs, this recession grows to 1,140 km s and continues to increase dramatically from there. If a galaxy is more than 4,175 megaparsecs away, it will recede from us faster than the speed of light. A second method to find this expansion rate uses pulsating stars called cepheids, dying stars with helium gas outer layers that expand and contract as they absorb and emit radiation, making them occasionally glow like distant signal. If such dark stars or dark life exist, they would be virtually invisible to our telescopes, cloaked not only by their lack of electromagnetic radiation, but also by the unfamiliarity of their physical laws. Perhaps they form and evolve under rules radically different from those governing baryonic matter. If dark biology is possible, then life as we know it may be but a single expression among countless others in the grand diversity of cosmic existence. 13. As we peer deeper into the darkness with increasingly powerful instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, we confront a more humbling possibility that we may be embedded in a reality far richer and stranger than we imagined. The cosmos may contain layers of structure and meaning inaccessible through conventional observation alone, veiled not only by distance and time, but by the limitations of our current physics. 14. Say 3. This deep uncertainty has rekindled interest. In modified theories of gravity, such as MOND, modified Newtonian dynamics, or emergent gravity, which attempt to explain galactic rotation curves without invoking unseen matter. Though controversial and far from universally accepted, these alternative frameworks challenge the orthodoxy and keep theoretical inquiry alive in a field increasingly shaped by precision but frustrated by paradox. 14. Meanwhile, dark energy remains even more mysterious. Whether it is truly a constant property of space or a dynamic evolving field, sometimes imagined as quintessence, remains one of the greatest questions in science. 
Some cosmologists even speculate that dark energy might decay or change over time, possibly reversing cosmic acceleration and plunging the universe into a future contraction known as the Big Crunch. 15. Others envision a scenario where dark energy grows stronger, leading to a big rip in which galaxies, stars, planets, and eventually atoms are torn apart as space-time itself unravels. In this apocalyptic vision, the universe ends not with fire or ice, but with an unstoppable expansion, shredding all structure, leaving behind a silent, featureless void. 1557, and yet, amid all this uncertainty, what remains clear is that the universe is not static, not eternal, and certainly not simple. It is a dynamic, evolving entity governed by subtle forces and shaped by hidden components. Every new observation, whether confirming predictions or defying them, is a step closer to unlocking the ultimate story of existence, a story still being written in starlight, gravity, and time. As we venture further into this cosmic narrative, humanity finds itself in a pivotal role, not as masters of the universe, but as curious observers awakening to its depth. With every mission launched beyond Earth's atmosphere, we stretch our senses across billions of years and trillions of kilometers, hoping to decode the silent language of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope is only the beginning. Next generation, observatories, like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and ESA's Euclid, aim to chart dark energy's fingerprint on the large-scale structure of the universe. 1659, meanwhile, terrestrial experiments like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory seek to map dark matter through gravitational lensing, while underground detectors buried deep beneath mountains and ice hunt for the faintest signals from weakly interacting massive particles. But so far, the silence remains profound. The shadows do not yield easily to the light. 1727, and yet, perhaps light is not enough. Perhaps the answer lies not in shining brighter, but in listening differently, in devising instruments that detect not just photons, but the very ripples of space and time. With gravitational wave astronomy, a new sense has awakened. We have... Already heard the death screams of colliding black holes and neutron stars. Tomorrow, we may hear whispers from before the first stars formed, fossil echoes of the Big Bang, carried not by light, but by the tremors of creation itself. 17. If we succeed, we may detect hints of new physics, cosmic strings, phase transitions, or even evidence of other universes colliding with ours in a multiversal sea. Some theorists suggest that our universe is merely one bubble in a vast foam of inflating domains, each with its own laws, its own particles, its own version of reality. If so, the question is no longer, what is the universe made of, but why? This universe, and not another? Teen 33. In the face of such overwhelming possibility, Awe is inevitable, but awe should not paralyze, it should propel. For within these dark enigmas may lie the key not only to cosmic truth, but to our own origins and fate. We are starborn, dark matter-shadowed, and dark energy-driven beings, piecing together a puzzle whose edges extend beyond what we can see or touch.